Uh, good morning. Good morning, church. Um, uh, this morning, I just wanted to say uh, in the, from yesterday's class, like uh, we were just studying Book of Ezra, an Old Testament uh, book. It's a historical narrative. And Ezra was a priest, but his uh, life was now in Babylon, far away from the promised land. A very Jewish uh, man or the woman, Jewish citizen, wanted to go back to their promised land. That is their heart, their longing for that. But in this situation, in this time, uh, in 70 plus years, the people of Israel is in Babylon. They're settled, they're prospering, prospered. And uh, many of the stories, we know that Ezra's story, we know the Daniel story, and Ezra is kind of that kind of guy. But Ezra was not uh, gone according to the waves of the world but he was a he was a scribe he was a priest he was a skilled in the word of god studying it and then doing it and then teaching others and yesterday we were talking about that and uh, at this point today is just want to say that we are in a babylon right ezra was in babylon we are in a babylon this world is like kind of that strife that's that kind of thing but we have a call from God. It's a heavenly call. We have a holy call. And this is a high calling. And you and I have been called that. And when you and I know, like we are separated for this purpose. And what will happen? Like our mindset is different. We don't look at the world the way the world thinks. The world, we have a different frame of reference. That is according to the word of God. And that's what this world, we can make an impact in this world. In the families or in the wherever you are. Like uh, in the assignments like which I receive and uh, many of these people are working and uh, <coughs> they share their testimonies and uh, how they face different pressures in, the, in that work environment. When they work with the you know, unbelievers and uh, when they have to take a stand. As a believer you need to take a stand. And sometimes people ridicule, they talk behind your back, and kind of a uh, loneliness. And I think Ezra faced the same thing, but he made a big, big impact in the nation of Israel. Think about it today as you and I have been in the Babylon, but we have not forgotten. As Jesus said that you are not of the world, but you are in the world. We are in the Babylon, but we are not a Babylon. And so, like, think about it. Our, voca our like, vocabulary, the way of life, our thinking is different. This thinking is with the Lord. And that's what like, uh, we are, that's what we study the word. And Ezra came back, brought a revival and, uh, in, his, uh, in the nation. And because he studied the word, when you study the word, you will know the, know the Lord. When you know the Lord, what happens? You want to love him and you want to be faith obeyed you want to be uh, act in faith and when you act in faith your life is like a kind of an excitement and then you want to t t share it with other people and, uh, and i believe this is a great opportunity for us we can look at our, uh, all around us can be discouraged we can be all these things but then what happens look into the word look into the bible and then we know that yes i'm in babylon but i have a calling I have a call and that's what uh, we are have a blessed day and uh, just asking god bless this day and uh, give us a great evening service and uh, protect each one of us lord in jesus name we pray amen god bless